Hey everybody, welcome back to another vlog. I'm Trucker Mike. I am here in Edwards, Edwardsville, Kansas. I met my receiver. I'm already unloaded, but they're allowing me to park here. So, I thought I'd start a video and do a little show and tell, I guess, or show you my uh, stuff that I ordered that I picked up when I went home. Um, my, my lights. Uh, actually pretty cool. blocking my light here pointed back towards my trailer and what's cool about these is that these little end caps are red they light up red they're separate um, has three wires has a ground positive and then a yellow the red turns on the main light and the yellow one turns on those little end caps and here I'll uh, Let's see if I can't show you. So when it's going down the road, the bottom and the, the top light up red. Which I thought was pretty cool, which is why I bought them. And then, of course, these suckers are bright. Like, real bright. Oh, damn, that gives me good lighting in here. But they're a spotlight. So. I got them so I can see the back of my trailer when I'm in dark places. So that's that light. Got these on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can see it if you want to get one for yourself. Not quite sure how I'm going to hook it up. Well, I mean, I know how to hook it up. Not quite sure how I'm going to route those wires or whatnot. Um, but, either way, I'll figure it out. Okay. Then I bought these lights. Which, honestly, they're smaller than I thought they would be. But I've already tested them out. Which I'll do that again right now. And, um... So yeah, the uh, the idea for the idea for these is that I'm gonna mount them up higher on the back of my sleeper, and then have them kind of like if I was a flatbedder and I needed light to shine on my trailer, you know, so I can get up there or whatnot. I wouldn't have bought these for that. Actually, I'd I'd probably buy a couple more of these too, since I'm already gonna add these. But no, these are going to be angled down to where I can see the front of the trailers. 
or if I'm not hooked up to a trailer and I want to work on, you know, back there in the back of my truck, then I'll have some light. And I got two of these. So that's that. Got both these on Amazon. I'll leave uh, a link in the description for you if you guys want to acquire one. So that's that. They're, they're aluminum. I mean, they're really, they, they look good. I'm not going to do a review. But, um, Yeah. So that's that. Another thing that I got, and I actually wasn't planning on getting this, or I wasn't in the market of getting it, but it showed up on my eBay, and that's the soldering gun. By it's a Weller soldering gun, and uh, which is this right here. I uh, saw it and I was like, hmm, check it out. And it was a, a bid auction. And uh, the bid was at 12 bucks. So I like, I bid 13. I was the, I became the highest bidder. There was an hour left on uh, the, the auction. So I waited and waited, and then I got a notification saying that the auction was ending soon. And uh, so I got back on eBay and and I watched it. And oh, after back up here, after I bid thirteen, I set my max bid for fifteen bucks. And uh, so anyway, so it got down to the last second. Uh, apparently somebody bid 14 bucks and since I had it set for 15 it automatically overrid them and I won this Weller 140 100 watt soldering gun brand new it's never been used um, there's some stains on the hard case then the guy mentioned that in the description but I'm like 15 bucks you know I'm out 15 bucks oh well but um, and then I watched this video on, on this guy he uses these and instead of buying these he said I can't remember what gauge wire but he says you get this type of wire certain gauge cut it in a certain length and then you know bend it and then you can put it in there and he says that's how he it works just fine so I need to do that but it came with a few spares and uh, so I'm glad I bought this because I'm going to be doing a lot of soldering on my wires instead of using butt connectors and stuff I'm just going to solder them um, I got flux to help with corrosion and then I, I, got, I got this uh, silicone paste that um, you put after you make the solder connection you do coat it with the silicone paste you slide the heat shrink over it you heat you heat up the heat shrink and then as the heat shrink is shrinking it squeezes the excess silicone paste out and that provides one it prevents the connection from corroding and two it creates a watertight seal so these are going to be the wires and stuff that I do that are going to be exposed to the elements that are going to be on the outside of my truck um, with heat shrink and butt connectors you know unless you got the marine grade heat shrink which I do have but uh, soldering wires together properly uh, it gives for a better connection and uh, you don't have to worry about losing that connection if you do it properly which I'm going to be doing so that's that also ordered a uh, another fuse box. This is the uh, this is the same one that I installed. I got the same one installed in my side box, 
my side box is going to be for um, accessories that are not that don't draw a lot of power um, so I'm going to have 8 gauge wire going to that one and then this is going into a box a waterproof box like this except this one is well this will fit but as you can see on the side it doesn't leave much room for the connectors to go in unless I'm one sticking out the holes on the box and I don't want that so I ordered another box that's just like this except it's much bigger so uh, it's actually that same box that I mounted my uh, Bluetooth controllers in and uh, there's plenty of room for it in it and whatnot so that's that so now I just need to a be able to get underneath my truck and B nice weather to start doing it and wiring it up and and whatnot you know but out here on the road I, I got everything I need I can do a little bit each time you know a little bit at a time and uh, you know keep me busy on my downtime when you know wait for a load or taking the day off or taking a 34-hour break or you know whatever the case may be so but anyway that's uh, my show and tell for the day Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Um, it helped me out a lot. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.